Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I'm here to introduce you to a set of seven videos and these projects are all for dolls. That's the theme. And I'll start by describing the American Girl doll uh, free patterns that are going to be on these different videos. Um, first off, there's a hat and this was made with worsted weight yarn and it's a great project for beginners and you can make it in any color, the flower, any colors. Um, so this is just started from the top. It's a double crochet circle on top and then straight um, down and I think that's a really cute uh, little pattern there and it'll make a great gift for somebody. Um, second is a we used the sachet mini and we actually um, pulled up loops down the middle of the strand so that we could create this adorable little uh, ruffled scarf for the um, American Girl doll. So then next we have a little filet uh, popcorn uh, blanket and this could be used for the Barbie dolls or a little baby doll like this one. So this hair is like quite interesting here. <laughs> So then we have um, patterns that we're going to show you how to do and these come out of the Fashion Doll Wardrobe book that I um, published years ago and all of these um, Barbie doll patterns are in this book but we're going to give you the patterns on a blog post also. So um, we're going to do three separate clothing patterns for Barbie and that is the purse, the skirt, and the halter top. And then lastly, very interesting, is the um, how to curl their hair. So when I did this book here, I figured out how to um, style their hair. So you could take a Barbie with totally uh, ratty hair and put the perm rods in there and then you dip it in boiling water and then it takes the shape of the rollers. It's amazing. So her hair here looked like really... Um, crazy like this one and then I was able to curl it and have it look like that so it was a lot of fun and um, this hair has been curled and you could style it so it's a great uh, project to do with grandkids or your kids and they really enjoy it I um, actually years ago I taught um, some kids at a little church sleepover and they just loved it so that's a lot of fun to do so all of these projects are in separate videos so if you're watching one make sure that you watch the other ones and please subscribe to our channel it really helps us out a lot and we'd love to hear your comments and like and share our videos and the links to everything are listed below and now we're going to take you to a close-up and Christina is going to show you how to make all of these projects Hey guys, it's Christina from maggiescrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, daisy hat for an 18 inch doll. This is an easy skill pattern. It will fit pretty much any 18 inch doll um, and it uses worsted weight yarn and a size G6 hook. Um, so we'll make the hat and then we'll make the flower separately and then sew it onto our cute little hat. Well, let's get started. Begin with the main color of your hat. I'm using this nice blue and uh, with your G hook, chain four. Then we're going to join this with a slip stitch to form a ring. So you'll take your hook, insert it into the first chain stitch closest to your slip knot there, pull a loop through, and then pull that same loop through the loop already on your hook. And this gives you this nice little ring to work into. Then we'll chain one and work 12 double crochets right into the middle of the ring. So you'll yarn over right down in the center of the ring there. Grab a loop, pull it through. You've got three loops on your hook. Pull through two and then pull through two. So that's one double crochet. I need a total of 12 so I'll do that and then I'll come back uh, when I'm ready to move on to the next round. Now once I've got my 12 double crochets I'm just going to join this ring together. So I'll take my hook, go into the top of that first double crochet I made, pull it through pull it through the loop arm of my hook and now I'm joined with a slip stitch. So that's round one. For round two you're going to chain one and then work two double crochets in each double crochet around. So you'll just yarn over, go right into the top of the stitch to work your double crochet 
and then work another one in that same stitch. So we had 12 double crochets at the end of round one. Now we're gonna double that number. So here at the end of round two, I ought to have 24 double crochets and then I'll join it just like I did before. Here in round three, we'll be increasing again, but not quite as much. I've just joined round two. I'll start round three with a chain one. In this first double crochet, I'll go ahead and work two double crochets. But in the next one, the stitch here, I'm only gonna do one double crochet. And I'll keep repeating that. So this next one, I'll do two. Then in this one, I'll only do one, then two, then one, and so on all the way around. And when I finish round three here, I should have 36 double crochets. Then after that, we're just gonna work uh, straight for a while. You'll just work one double crochet per stitch. So you'll have 36 double crochets per round uh, for rounds four through nine. So I'm gonna do that and then uh, Round 10 is pretty much just round three again. You'll repeat in a two one pattern uh, so that by the end of round 10, you then have uh, 54 double crochets. And then at that point, you can go ahead and weave in your ends. Um, and then just, we'll make the daisy and put that on there. So I'm gonna finish making this little hat and I'll come back when I'm done. I'll start our daisy in the center. So with your yellow, chain two, and then in the second chain from the hook, the one closest to your slip knot here, we'll work eight half double crochets. For half double, you'll yarn over, insert down into the chain stitch, grab a loop and pull it through. And up till now, this has looked like a double, but here's where the difference is. I've got three loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three of them at the same time, and that is one half double crochet. So again, you'll yarn over, go down into the stitch, grab a loop and pull it through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. You want a total of eight of these all worked into this same chain stitch here. Now you may find, as I am finding right now, that as you do this, your chain is gonna kinda stretch out. Don't worry about it too much yet. We can tighten it up once we've got all of our stitches worked in here. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I just need two more. One and two. And so then to kind of close this up a little bit, grab a hold of that starting tail you left and just gently pull it. And then I'll tighten that up nice. And then we'll make sure we knot this off securely and weave it in so it won't come uh, loose. Now we'll join with a slip stitch. So you just go right into the top of the first half double crochet there, grab a loop, pull it through, pull that same loop through the loop already on your hook. And that's gonna be it for the yellow, so now I will trim this off, making sure I leave enough of a linen to weave in later, and then just finish that there. So that's my center. For the petals, and if you wanna go ahead and weave in your ends before you move on to the petals, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going and just weave everything in all at the same time. So with your white yarn on your hook with a slip, a slip knot, we're gonna join this to our petals in any of the top of the, these half double crochets. So now eh, we'll just pick this one. So insert into the stitch there. You're just gonna grab a loop, pull it through and pull that same loop through the loop already on your hook and that's joining with a slip stitch. Then we'll chain two. And in the same stitch as where we joined, so this one right here, we're going to work two double crochets. So a double crochet, you'll yarn over, insert into the loop, pull it through. You've got your three loops on the hook here and we'll pull through two and then pull through the other two. And that's your double as opposed to your half double. So there's two double crochets, then chain two, and it says to do that twice. So we're gonna do two more double crochets here. It's gonna be a lot in this one stitch, but it will all fit, I promise. And then chain two, and then slip stitch in the same stitch as well. So all worked into the same stitch. We joined, we did two double crochets, we chain two, two double crochets, chain two, slip stitch. 
all in that same stitch. In the next stitch, we'll do the same thing. We'll do a slip stitch. We'll do two double crochets. Chain two, repeat that part. So two more double crochets. chain two, and slip stitch all in the same stitch. So I'm going to repeat that in each stitch around, so I'll have eight petals when I'm done. And then just join it with a slip stitch here at the beginning, and then you can finish off and weave in all your ends. When my daisy's finished, I can sew it onto my hat. I've left one long tail here to do my sewing with. Um, now to thread my yarn needle, this is the easiest way I've found to do it. Take your yarn, kind of fold it in half, and pinch that between your thumb and your index finger. Then take your yarn needle, bigger the better, and you're just going to kind of wiggle that right down over the yarn, and then pull the end through. That's the easiest way I know to thread a yarn needle. So then you'll just pick the spot on the hat uh, where you want to sew the flower on. Uh, I try not, let's see, there's my uh, seam where I joined all my rounds, so I'm probably going to try to put that in the back. And sew my flower on, I'll sew it on here on the side. So I'm just going to kind of alternate between going through the stitches of the hat and going through stitches on the back of the flower. and just kind of whip stitching that on until it feels nice and secure. Now how many stitches you need to get it secure depends on how secure you need it to be. So just keep tugging at it until you feel like it's not gonna uh, come off. Well guys, I hope you found uh, this project helpful. If you've got any questions at all, you may certainly ask them down in the comments below. And in the link, in the description, you'll find the links for the pattern, the materials, everything you'll need for this project. Thanks for watching, guys. So I'm going from this side to that side, and I'm going to pick up my yarn and draw that up, and then finish my double crochet like so. If you do, let's say, I've seen scarves made with only pulling five loops through, and they look amazing. They're really cute. They come out.